Hey everyone, my name is Daniel, and in today's video, we'll take a look at all the enhancements and new features for Microsoft Forms for the month of August 2024. So the first one was to go ahead and improve either your new or existing form using the features and recommendations provided by Copilot. Second was to go ahead and generate an explanation as an answer for your quiz questions. And third was to go ahead and update the synchronization process of your forms with Excel so that it will work for the new versions of Excel as well. So stick around, these are very important features and enhancements that you need to be aware of. But first, here's my intro video. So let's take a look at the first enhancement, which is to improve your form using the suggestions made by Copilot. And as an example, I'll come over here to my new form and using the Copilot, I'm gonna provide this prompt. Here it is. I'll go and say, design a volunteer sign up form for a church event specifically for youth. The items include registration, putting up and taking down chairs, worshiping leading, and even small group leading. These are usually the regular things that happen in such type of event. So I've provided the prompt, and now I'm gonna go and click on generate. Now this part is not new, right? It goes ahead and analyzes it, creates a draft. This is not new. I've actually demonstrated this in my previous videos. However, now is the enhancement that happens. After you've gone ahead and created something like this, and then you just make sure everything is good, uh, you know, go ahead and say, hey, everything is good. I'll go ahead and keep it as keep it. It has gone ahead and generated the form for you. But now on the top you have, Copilot has suggestions to improve your form because we just don't wanna leave it at this way because content is good, but it's actually helping you even go ahead and design the overall effect of the form. So let's go forward, all right? I like the suggestion that it's making over here because let's face it, the form has good content, but it does need a little TLC. So I'll come over here to the top end and I'll click on view. Now it is analyzing the content of the form and it's gonna give us some suggestions. And the first thing I see is the suggestion to do with the style of the form, which I really like right off the bat. Um, so as I'm going through all of these styles, the one that really caught my attention is this one over here, right? So I'll go and click on that one and it immediately went ahead and changed the design of the form. It went ahead and added this homepage, changed the background, but, but it did not interfere with all my questions. Everything over here is as is. And if I scroll down, I take a look at everything. Perfect. I like what I'm seeing over here, so I'll actually save it at that. In fact, I'll make sure that I go and keep it so that way it is actually saved. And now it is giving us more recommendation. It is saying, that, okay, you've decided how your forms look and feel should be, but now Copilot is making us suggestions on how to send a receipt to responders. Basically, it is saying what's the best way to respond to all the people who are filling out the form so that they get a confirmation of their submission. That's basically what it is. So in this case, I'm gonna actually say, hey, apply some suggestions. It is going in and applying the suggestion, basically analyzing all the work that's already over here. And it gives us this one. It says, hey, dear volunteers, thank you for your willingness to help with the church. Basically going and doing all of it. But wait, there's more. One of the other recommendations is making is how do you want to go ahead and do the sharing method? Do you want to just go ahead and send it as a Teams invite? Or are there any other sharing methods? So I'll go and click on this share the more sharing methods. And voila, it's actually given us this option as well. You can basically go ahead and copy it um, and then send it to only specific people in your company. Or at this point, if it's gonna be for external people, which is also public facing, then you can go and change it to anyone can respond. So this is pretty neat because initially Copilot helped us build the form, but now it takes it a step further by making us some suggestions. It gave us this nice design functionality. It's actually giving us this nice response text over here and also giving us recommendations on some sharing methods. The first recommendation it made over here was to do it as a Teams invite. So this is the first enhancement that was released. Second is to generate quiz with answer explanations. And this is a big step up from already the release that was made in last month where you can actually go and create an entire quiz using such a big prompt which we went and created. So here's the video I did last month. I go ahead and create this prompt in Copilot for 365. I go ahead and paste it over here in the Copilot for Microsoft Form and it goes ahead and generates all of these questions for my quiz. 
I've actually demonstrated this in my video for last month. But now there's an addition because check this out. Initially, it would only go ahead and put the questions that you gave it and then the answer. That is it. You see, no other suggestions have been made. However, now with this release and enhancement, it will actually go ahead and even generate the answer, which is the explanation of all of those quizzes. Make sense? Let me go and demonstrate that to you. So I'm back in Microsoft Forms. I'll go and click on new quiz. And here I'll go and give the specific prompt. I'm saying I need five trigonometry questions for a quiz. I'll click on the generate button. Now it is analyzing my requirements. It's going ahead and creating a draft. And any second now we should go and see the questions and the answers. However, this time there's something new. Check this out. It says answer explanation. See, this is the new enhancement that was just released in August of 2024. So now if I go and click on keep it, we can go and see what this does. So for the first question, it says, what is the sign of 30 degrees? All right, the sine, cosine, these are trigonometric functions. It already went ahead and selected the correct answer, which is either half or 0.5. However, now you can go and put this explanation as well, because if this is a quiz, and if people are either getting right or wrong answer, they still need to know what the explanation was. And so here's the explanation. And by the way, this was automatically generated by Copilot, all right? We didn't go ahead and put this in, automatically generated, because you see how smart it is? First of all, the prompt went ahead and created it for us, and then now it's also going and generating the answer. So let's read this first answer. It says that the sine of an angle in a right triangle is the ratio of the length of the opposite side to the hypotenuse. For 30 degrees, this ratio is half, therefore sine 30 degrees equals 0 0.5. Full explanation in this detail is automatically provided by Copilot now as an answer explanation. Now, if you do not want this for whatever reason, it's completely fine. You can basically go up to the top right, click on the settings right over here, and you see this show answer explanations for respondents. By default, it is toggled on. You can just go and toggle it off. And the moment I do that, voila, the answer sections disappears. So you still have full control over if you do and do not want to do. By default, it is turned on. However, you can go ahead and disable it. But it is pretty awesome because school teachers, education departments are going to love this because it will save them so much time to go back and explain what the answer is. Copilot automatically does that for you. So the third announcement is a very important update specifically for the Microsoft Forms or the IT professionals. And that is how your data of these Microsoft Forms are going to go and synchronize with your Excel. So these are the two enhancements that are gonna come in. First of all, this synchronizing of the form will be supported by newer versions of Excel, which is pretty awesome. Because if you've been an early user of this, you would know that sometimes this would only work with the older versions of Excel, as old as Excel 2013. Now, that will no longer be the case. Also, your synchronization with Excel will be more reliable and faster in performance. Because again, if you've used this before, you know that there was a lag when a form was filled and that row showed up in Excel. That will not be the case anymore. So I'm pretty excited about these two things. However, it's important for you to know what these two older versions of Data Sync existed. And there was actually two of them in OneDrive and in SharePoint. So for your OneDrive, when you opened up Excel in your OneDrive and you went into the insert menu, you had the option to go and create a new form. The second old method was in SharePoint because when you went to a SharePoint library to go and create a form for Excel, that was another older way of doing it. Now you will still have the options to do it. However, there is an enhancement that will be released from January 13th. Now this is just a overall date. It could vary based it shows up on your tenant, but at least this will be the start date, which is January 13th of 2025, which is actually next year. So here's what you'll see. If you have an existing form which you open up in this older type of Excel, then a message will show up on the right side. It'll say, hey, you have to update your workbook to continue with the syncing process. And all you have to do is just click on that one button which is update sync. That is it. Once you complete it, you will get this message that, hey, sync with forms has been updated. Also, if you will notice on the bottom left, it will go ahead and create a new sheet. So your original sheet with all the rows will still be there, a new sheet will be created. And what basically that does is that you will still be able to see all the previous data in your old workbook or your old sheet. However, that will no longer get updated. That new sheet that I showed you, 
that is where all the future updates will happen. So it's very important that you specifically as IT professionals or former admins are aware of this because this enhancement is going to take effect. So as you've noticed for the month of August, it was actually enhancements to existing releases. However, there were two very important ones that you need to be aware of. For the education department, such as school teachers, the ability for you to automatically get explanations for each of the quiz is fantastic. See that example that I showed you that Copilot did go and actually generate the quiz for trigonometry, but now it also gives you explanation, which is going to save your school teachers so much amount of time. And for the admins and IT professionals, watch out for that date because you will start to see your end users who build these forms to start to get a message in that Excel spreadsheet. But all they have to do is click on that one button and that Excel spreadsheet will automatically update and you will get a new tab. Also, initially this will only work on the browser. However, newer versions of Excel will also update this form's data on their desktop app as well. So hopefully this video was useful to you. And as always, keep using Microsoft Forms with Copilot. Hello, hello, hello. So if you like this video, go ahead and click on that subscribe button and smash that like button. Also, if you have a few extra seconds, can you go and put in a comment, either say something nice or give me ideas for my next video. And until then, see ya.